Martin, a great result at the weekend, a fantastic way to end a season at Craven Cottage, but there's an important game coming up on Sunday. Yeah, of course. Of, uh, although you can't say there's a lot of pressure on us because we achieved, uh, wanted to be in the top ten. And the other things are not in our hands. Uh, of course, if Liverpool can't beat Swansea away, and that will be difficult, and we could beat Spurs, we could be in eighth position. And then you consider that Everton plays at home against Newcastle, so that is in our mind. So, of course, there's, there's something to play for, but the pressure is on Spurs, of course, because they have to win. And they need the result to, uh, to be in the top three, because even when you're fourth in England now, and Chelsea will win the Champions League, as you know, could be, is a possibility. Uh, someone could drop out, and that is the fourth position. Speaking to the players, they seem all seem to be highly motivated. There's a, a phrase in football about players going on holiday before the season is done because there's nothing to play for. It doesn't seem to be the case here. Everybody seems to be focused on getting as many points as possible. No, it's such a good thing to see. You know, if you saw us before Christmas, we had to play, we played so many matches, and now, as if you know, we could play on for another couple of months. Even you know, everybody loves it to play and. And uh, maybe the season is, is, is ending now a bit too early, you know. So I think uh, overall we did well, you know, with the medical staff, with everyone else involved, you know, to keep the players fit. And uh, if you consider that it's probably our 55th game, it's not it's not the world, you know. There's uh, teams, I played over 60 games and Fulham played over 60 years, probably a couple of years ago. So the only thing was we had to play too many games before Christmas and maybe it cost us points in the Premier League. Because if you look at this, the last 20 matches since uh, since January, we on the top, we would end in the top five. So, but they that that uh, won't say that I wouldn't be and I wouldn't wouldn't like to be in the Europa League. I always would pick the Europa League, and even if they tell me tomorrow that we will be in the that we won the Fair Play Cup, I would uh, go to Europe again. But of course, it didn't help the first five or six months. If you look at our league position. I feel that if you, if you look at the last five years, it's such a stable club. And it's great to work here for any manager, you know, with the players we've got. And that is why I would like to think that if our players stay here next year with a couple of additions, and yeah, we, we can go places. But for me, the most important thing is to be in the top ten structurally from the beginning until the end. Don't forget that uh, we didn't change a lot couldn't change a lot, you know, we changed Bobby Zamora at the end of uh, last year and get powerful and you always rely on your players. If you uh, got players like Clint Dempsey who scored 20 goals or more and in all competitions, you got strikers who scored 15 goals, then there is no problem. And I still feel that that was probably a part of the problem that our strikers in the league last year and the year before and the years before, they, they, they scored goals but not like. 15 or 20 a year and that is probably what you need to be very successful and to be in the top six. You now have a whole pre-season if you can keep this group of, of players together or make the additions that you want to. Top 10 structurally is actually a very realistic aim. No, but if you look at other clubs like Stoke, you know, with all the resources, six strikers, if, if you look at Wigan, Wigan beat all the top teams, mm. you know, and not us, but that was the only team probably in the last six matches. So they're all good teams and if you if you give them time, they will be good. Maybe the first four or five months I played in the same system because I thought that this team was used to playing this system 4-4-2, 4-4-1-1 and gradually I could change it and that is what we did and we played probably a bit different and we made a few changes. We had a few youngsters in, we put Moussa Dembele in midfield. Uh, we, we looked a bit better, you know, at the back, of course. Uh, John Anaris was better and better because he had to set to win. Uh, believe me, there will be still a lot to come. There's still a lot to come from Brian Ruiz if he's fit, yeah. believe me, because he's, he's a top player and I would love. And he told me this morning he will show uh, people next year if he's fit. And, uh, and of course, we will do everything to get him fit. Then, uh, yeah, what I said, with one or two or three additions, we will be fine. OK, so there are additions. You know that the fans are all talking about whether Klimt will be here. The media are talking about whether Klimt will be here, Moussa Dembele. I know that you want to keep your best players at the club. How realistic is that when other clubs come calling? If you talk to our chairman, there is no reason to sell players. We are not a selling club. 
of course we would like to educate youngsters and get youngsters and be self-sufficient and try maybe to educate them and if you sell them okay because I, when I was in England before we saw players for 35 million, 25 million, Carrick and Berbatov and other players you know but we are not a selling club so if clubs come in and sometimes you can't do anything about it because I couldn't do anything about it when Berbatov left for 34 million or something in the end it's it's different but if you can get that sort of money you know there's no problem with me because we will only get better and better and buy other good players. But the chairman, you know, he uh, confirmed it again this week. We don't have to sell. We don't sell uh, Clint Dempsey. He's still got one year to go. So, uh, yeah, what sort of clubs should come in for him? There should be Real Madrid or Barcelona or Manchester United. And I feel that uh, if not, yeah, Clint is fine here. He will score his goals next year and hopefully we can keep him. And how pleased have you been with the younger players, Katja Niklic, Kerim Fry especially coming in and playing so well against Chelsea in his first real game? Uh, it's very bright young prospects coming through. I always felt that, of course, when I started, we were the oldest team in the Premier League and we were probably the oldest team in, in Europe. And you need uh, youngsters as well. You need fresh legs, but you need youngsters as well. And especially up front, I think they did it. They did uh, amazingly well, but you have to be good enough. So I don't put youngsters in because they're young. I put youngsters in because I saw in training that they are good, you know, and if they are good. And we will have a few youngsters because I can promise you I've got one or two other youngsters who are probably as good. So we will see more of them next year. Going back to White Hart Lane for you, it'll be a nice experience seeing the fans again for the first time, but you still want the three points. I want the three points, so they, you know, they of course they will be excited that the team, the Spurs team, because they need the points mm. and there's less pressure for us. But we want a, a result as well, and hopefully, I can remember years ago when I played against Fulham, and it was uh, probably not uh, deserved, but they had a draw. I think it was with Chris Coleman, the one-one. So uh, maybe a, a good result, a, a, a draw, or even a sneaky win, you know, would would. Probably uh, nice, you know, for the last game of the season and, uh, and for me personally it would be nice. We wish you luck on Sunday. Okay, thank you.